unadulterated carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is used by all plants as a source of food. And in return, all of the plants produce about nine gigatons of oxygen each year. Without oxygen, all mankind, all animals will die. Mountain climbers require supplemental oxygen in order to survive climbing mountains like Mount Everest because the oxygen is only half of what it would be at sea level. In this video, I'm talking about pure carbon dioxide, not industrial pollution. In the last 500 million years, the varying amounts of carbon dioxide availability have affected the amount of oxygen available on the Earth. In actual fact, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere has been steadily falling in the last number of years. For those who may be unaware, carbon dioxide is responsible via photosynthesis for producing all of the oxygen on the earth. Carbon dioxide produced not only the oxygen we require, but it made the giant force of the past a reality. Scientific studies have clearly shown that as the amount of carbon dioxide increases, so does the health of plants. 70% of our oxygen comes from the ocean and 30% comes from the land. Pure carbon dioxide levels have been falling for millions of years to levels that are extremely low. Carbon dioxide levels have been falling for millions of years and have been captured as calcium carbonate. As an example, if you take some calcium carbonate and add some acid, you get CO2. Pretend for a second that the water in this glass is pure carbon dioxide. And this in itself is beneficial to mankind. But if we are to contaminate that with other gases in the combustion process, then that carbon dioxide becomes polluted in the presence of other contaminants. And it is these contaminants that we need to get rid of, not carbon dioxide, because carbon dioxide is our friend. Industrial pollution contains many thousands of contaminants, and this is what we're talking about, and not the elimination of carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, many climate activists cannot see the tree in the forest. Ban carbon dioxide, but cigarettes, well, they're okay. They only contain 9,000 contaminants, hundreds of which cause cancer. Supplementary carbon dioxide is often used to increase the output 
of food production. So protesting is good, but get your science correct. Know what the problem is. Know who the real enemy is. So save the oceans, for they generate 70% of the oxygen that we breathe. While you're planning your next protest, think about the forests that will die if the carbon dioxide level goes less than 150 parts per million. The death of the plants, the death of mankind. So rather than protest without knowing the facts, get the education required to learn what is important and what is not. Learn the facts and not just imaginary beliefs that you hear from other people. Learn in school the important role that carbon dioxide plays in the role of all of the plants and vegetation on the earth because knowledge is power. So instead of blindly protesting about something that you know little about, take the time to learn what is true and what is not. Take the time to learn for yourself. Learn to take the responsibility to take the time to learn the truth. Carbon dioxide is our friend, not our enemy.